First look at the Pixel Experience Plus Edition ROM running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at the Pixel Experience Plus Edition ROM running on the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro or the Redmi K20 Pro. Right off the bat, you will notice that the current build which we are using has the security patch as March of 5th, 2020, and the kernel which is baked in is Fixie kernel. Now, this kernel, as far as I know, does not support display overclocking, so that is one of the limitations of this build. And of course, you can overcome this by flashing a kernel which does support display overclocking. Next up, if you swipe down on your status bar and expand your quick setting tiles you will see that the wi-fi bluetooth do not disturb and other tiles have a down arrow besides them if you tap on the down arrow it will give you the option to click on more settings and that will take you directly to the settings of that quick setting tile as for the animations gestures as you can see on your screen right now everything works like a boss pretty smooth no lags no delays no stutters nothing like that you will also notice that we have a camera icon which looks similar to gcam but this is not gcam this in fact is the xiaomi camera baked into this rom and of course 48 megapixel works like a boss and you also have the option of pro mode and while we are on the home screen let me show off another feature if you long press the power button long press the screenshot option you can take partial screenshots and it does work absolutely fine as you just saw and we can now dive into settings and have a look at the major customizations which are provided by Pixel Experience Plus Edition ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro. So we will dive down into display and then go into dark theme. You will see that you can now customize your dark theme from sunset to sunrise. You do not have the option of setting a specific time, but you do have the option of setting it from sunset to sunrise. Then you will find live display in the plus edition which does include reading mode and color calibration wherein you can calibrate your rgbs and you can also calibrate your hue saturation intensity and contrast now if you do not like the calibration or the picture adjustments which you make feel free to click on the reset button to go back to the settings which came out of the box in styles and wallpapers you do have the option of customizing the icons and using different styles and you can also create your own custom style if you want to if you go into wallpapers you do have the option of live wallpapers and you can also download wallpapers like my friend pikachu and other live wallpapers whichever ones you like then you have the option of rotation settings wherein you can configure rotation for every rotation angle so you can configure it for 0 degrees 90 degrees 180 or 270 degrees in colors you have three different options you can choose between natural boosted and adaptive then you have font size you can choose from 80 percent to 130 percent whatever floats your boat next up you have lock screen display so you can add users from the lock screen you have options to display the media cover art the music visualizer on the lock screen then if you want to disable the power menu on the lock screen you can do that as well and you also have the toggle to enable or disable the lockdown option if you want always on display you have a toggle for that as well works absolutely fine want to wake up your screen for new notifications you have a toggle for that if you go into advanced settings you can configure your pickup sensors your proximity sensor and all these options do work absolutely fine on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro back into display you have double tap to wake double tap to sleep from the status bar and wake your device when you plug in a charger then we have sound so in sound you have the option to delink your notification and ringtone volumes in which case the slider to enable notification volume will be enabled or disabled based on your choice if you want increasing ring volume you have a toggle for that as well and you have the start volume and the ramp up time as well if you want vibration for calls a toggle for that and you have customizations for touch sounds screenshot sounds touch vibration vibrate to indicate call status and of course me sound enhancer is also baked into this pixel experience plus edition build 
Moving over to security, you can set up your fingerprint on display. It works and it works absolutely fine. The only thing you need to note is that set it up the way you're going to use it most often. So if you're going to use it like this, set it up like this. If you're going to use it like this, then set it up like this. So fingerprint on display works absolutely fine. What is missing is screen off fingerprint on display. That option is not yet baked into this build. And of course, none of the Android 10 custom ROMs have face unlock right now. So that is also missing in this build. When will it be added to Android 10 custom ROMs? I personally do not have an answer for that. Then you have system. In system, you have major customizations of Pixel Experience Plus Edition. Right off the bat, you will notice that you have front camera effects. You can enable or disable the visual effects. And you also have the option of choosing between six different kind of sound effects for the front camera. So right now it is set to gear wheel and bam, here it is. We can try accessing the front camera and listen for the sound effect. There it is. That is the sound effect which you get with the front camera. Other than that, you have gestures. So in gestures, you can enable or disable three finger screenshot, works like a boss. And of course, you do not have expanded screenshots in this build, but do expect them to come up in the April build of Pixel Experience Plus Edition. If you go into buttons, you can customize your system navigation. You can choose between three different kind of navigation, gesture, two button and three button. If you click on the gear icon next to the gestures, you will be able to configure the sensitivity of the back button. And you also have a toggle for full screen gestures. If you enable this toggle, the small bar at the bottom is going to disappear to give you a better immersive full screen experience if you like that. Click on the power option and you can customize what all options you want to see in the power menu. You want to see screenshot, airplane mode, lockdown, and again, as you can see, we are getting all the options. In fact, the lockdown option is missing. So we can try toggling that on and off to see if that comes back. And yes, toggle the option on and off and it did come back. Then you have a toggle to use the power button to end the current call. Or if you want to disable power menu on a protected lock screen, you have a toggle for that as well. If you want to use the power button to activate your torch, you have a toggle for that as well, along with a timer as to when you would want the torch to turn off. Then you have customizations for the volume buttons. So if you want to wake your device up using the volume rockers, you have a toggle for that. As you can see, works absolutely fine. Then you can also use the volume rockers to answer a call or control music playback, use it to move the cursor on the keyboard. And if you want the power buttons to reorient when you switch from portrait to landscape, you have a toggle for that as well. Going into status bar, you do have network traffic monitor. You can choose what you want to display, upload only, download only, upload and download both. And once you enable that, if you want to auto hide it, if there is no activity, what is the unit you're looking for, KBPS, MBPS, whatever floats your boat and if you want to see the unit or not. Then you can customize what all system icons you want to see in the status bar. You have a toggle for each of them. And if you want to see low priority notification icons, you have a toggle for that as well. Other than that, you can customize your clock. Where do you want to see the clock, left, right, or center? And if you want to see the seconds, a toggle for that. Whether you want to see the AM, PM or not, you have a toggle for that as well. Then you have customization for the battery status style. Right now it is set to icon portrait. You can choose circle or text. And if you choose circle or the portrait style, then you can customize the battery percentage as well. Where do you want to see it? Hidden inside the icon or next to the icon. Then if you want a brightness slider in your quick settings, you have the toggle for that. If you want auto brightness option or not. And then you have brightness control by sliding across the status bar, bam, works like a boss. Then we have quick pull down. So right now it is set to off. However, if I set it to right, if I pull down from the right, the quick setting tiles will be expanded. From the left, they are not expanded. Next up, you have tile visibility. So if you want to see the tiles underneath the quick setting tiles. So right now you do not see Wi-Fi Bluetooth. If I enable this, expand, bam, you see Wi-Fi Bluetooth that text. Next up, if you want vibration when you touch the quick setting tiles, you have a toggle for that. You can customize the number of rows and columns you want to see in your quick setting tiles in both the portrait mode and in landscape mode. Then 
what is the style of animation you are looking for when you press the quick setting tiles so right now it is set to none and let's say i turn the torch on and off nothing happened no animation let's try changing the animation to rotate and bam there it is rotate in the building working like a boss then what is the duration of the animation you want right now it is set to default and this is how default is let's try changing it to say fast and bam pretty fast not as fast as you would want it to be but faster than before and what is the interpolator option you are looking for so right now it is set to linear if i set it to bounce and then toggle on and off there it is you could see it now has a bounce effect we can give it one more try bam bounce effect in the building so those are the customizations which you get with pixel experience plus edition rom on your redmi k20 pro as for the benchmark scores antutu has been taken down from the play store and when i tried loading the apks manually and execute the test it would not execute it got stuck on downloading however we do have geekbench and another benchmark score screenshots of which are on your screen right now as for the issues in the current build well you do have issues with android auto i think that is broken then sometimes you would have issues with sound not working when you play some media all you need to do is press a volume rocker and you should have sound back this is a this is an existing issue with miui vendor and currently we do not have a solution with it so you have to live with it and last but not the least something which i noticed is that the build does not come with any file manager it is kind of surprising and i think the developers just forgot to include a file manager and for those of you who like to use gcam ports i do have a gcam port which is linked in the pinned comment and it works absolutely fine on this build so there it is peeps that was our first look at pixel experience plus edition on the redmi k20 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you